Yorkshire have started an investigation following claims from their former captain, Azim Rafiq, that he was close to suicide because of racism he experienced during his time with the team. He says he suffered personal racial abuse on the pitch and at team social events. At my worst, it did. I was right on the edge. I really was as graphically as probably stood on my balcony. As That is, um, I guess, as honest I, as I can be. And even my own uh, family is probably not aware of that. So, yeah, that's probably as far as it did take me. Well, it's been a long day of giving evidence for Azim Rafiq, who first spoke to the independent investigation panel at nine o'clock this morning via Zoom and eventually finished giving evidence and answering questions just after five o'clock. This, the investigation launched by Yorkshire following the comments of institutional racism by Rafiq back in September at the club. He was at from an under 12 right up until 2018 when he was released and there was plenty to say about his treatment and the way he was spoken to and dealt with during his time with the council. We were given part of the written statement that he handed into the investigation last week and we can sort of paraphrase some of the things he said. Part of it was to do with the racist language, some of which you may find offensive or upsetting. He was spoken to and called an elephant washer. There were references to family members owning corner shops and non-white players were also told to go back where they came from. There are concerns as well from Rafiq and his solicitors over parts of the process, particularly in witness anonymity. Rafiq has spoken to former teammates and people within the game over the last couple of months who feel that they would be comfortable giving evidence and backing up some of his claims if they could be granted anonymity. But at the moment, they fear for their future within the game of cricket if they come forward and support Rafiq. It's been hard to relive some of their memories. It's, it's been really difficult. There was a couple of instances which um, really, really were difficult for me today. But um, I feel a sense of relief. And uh, I know, I know the facts are behind me, and I know, I know my intentions are right. So, like I said, I'm going to give it my full shot for the future generations. Now, Yorkshire have today apologised to their former player Azim Rafiq for what they call inappropriate behaviour following a lengthy investigation into allegations of racism dating back to 2008. An independent investigation by the cricket club started last November and Rafiq spoke out about a number of abusive incidents. Yorkshire say that several of those claims have been proven. Well, the near 700-word statement read, There were many allegations made against the club, most of which relate to a period more than 10 years ago. Many of the allegations were not upheld, and for others there was insufficient evidence for the panel to make a determination. It is right, however, to acknowledge from the outset that several of the allegations made by Azim were upheld and that sadly, historically, Azim was the victim of inappropriate behaviour. This is clearly unacceptable. We would like to express our profound apologies for this. The panel also found that the club failed to implement its policies and procedures in relation to these serious issues. The club understands the importance of the panel's findings. I, I haven't got much more to give. Um, I don't know why I'm sat here um, spending my days trying to put pressure um, to when it's the least person it's benefiting is myself. And I, I'm sick and tired. I am properly sick and tired. Um, clearly, the game has got some serious issues in its tackle. As a former teammate and, and friend, you know, it's hard to see as he's hurting as he is. And I think more than anything, I think he's just shows that there's, there's still a lot of work that we have to do as a game. Um, and there's, over the last couple of years, it's a societal issue, in my opinion. I've seen it in other sports, seen it in other areas. And as a sport, we've got to keep trying to find ways of, of making sure that this isn't a conversation that keeps happening. Um, we've got to find ways of um, you know, creating more opportunities, making our game more diverse, educating better. Another day of developments in the Azim Rafiq race row and under the, the under fire Yorkshire board have called an emergency meeting for tomorrow to discuss their next move as more commercial partners walk away. The club stands accused of allowing racial harassment and bullying to go unchecked and the whole issue is due to get even greater exposure at a DCMS parliamentary hearing on November the 16th at which Rafiq will give evidence. Uh, yesterday several of the club's sponsors ended their partnerships with Yorkshire County Cricket Club including stadium sponsors Emerald Publishing. Today kit supplier Nike 
and also Harrogate Spring Water have also ended their endorsements. All of the departing sponsors have cited the culture at Yorkshire County Cricket Club, which has caused Rafiq such distress that he considered suicide. It's not good reading for Yorkshire County Cricket Club and its players and its members, and rightly so. Sponsors are starting to pull out of that club. So it's a bad week, month, year for Yorkshire, but it's also a bad time for English cricket and the ECB, who surely now, the ball is in their court, surely the ECB have to do something about it. When your sport is on the front page of newspapers for all the wrong reasons, it's obviously contingent on the governing body to take uh, supplementary action to protect the sport and send a message to cricket fans around uh, what the ECB stands for. Uh, and its response to issues around racism. A dramatic day of resignations at Headingley following the club's handling of Azim Rafiq's racism claims. Roger Hutton resigned as chair this morning and this afternoon he's been replaced by Lord Patel. Let's get to the crux of things. First things first it is an apology from uh, Roger Hutton, the, the former now chairman of Yorkshire County Cricket Club, to Azim Rafiq. What he goes on to say in his statement is, is that he would like to take the opportunity to apologise unreservedly to Azim. He goes on to say there has been a constant unwillingness from the executive members of the board and senior management at the club to apologise and to accept there was racism and to look forward. He goes on to say, I want to be clear that when I was made aware of Azim Rafiq's allegations, I immediately reached out to the ECB to ask for their help and intervention to support a robust inquiry. Uh, he goes on to say, I was saddened when they declined to help as I felt it was a matter of great importance for the game as a whole. It is a matter of record that I have continually expressed my frustration at the ECB's reluctance to act. Revelations about complaints of racial discrimination and their handling at this cricket club over the past 18 months have rocked the sporting world. But let me be clear from the outset, racism or any form of discrimination is not banter. It's simply not acceptable. Lord Patel has the mother of all jobs turning that once venerable club around. I would like to just chide the club just now in terms of the report. Despite promising publicly to issue the report to myself and also to the government, they have not done so, so far. That report needs to be on our hands today. Having spent more than a year campaigning for full disclosure, Azim Rafiq finally got the chance to tell his story. His emotional testimony lasted more than an hour and a half. For the first time, I started to see for what it was, um, felt isolated, humiliated at times, um, constant use of the word Now to what has been described as an overwhelming vote for change by Yorkshire County Cricket Club's chair, Lord Patel. The club's members have voted in favour of structural changes required by the ECB following its handling of racism allegations made by former player Azim Rafiq. It means international fixtures can now be staged at Headingley this summer. Well, the club had been stripped of its right to host international matches as punishment for its handling of the Rafiq racism scandal. But at an extraordinary general meeting yesterday, members overwhelmingly passed three special resolutions, including the ratification of Patel as chair and changes to the makeup of the club's board. So we'll start with the breaking news. And in the last few moments, the ECB have released a statement saying they have charged... Yorkshire County Cricket Club and a number of individuals following that ECB investigation into racism. Well, James Cole joins me live now for the very latest on this. Good afternoon to you, James. So tell us about this ECB statement. Hi, Simon. Yes, the ECB have just announced this confirmation, really, of the fact they've charged, we understand, seven people and Yorkshire County Cricket Club uh, with bringing the game into disrepute. An independent panel of the Cricket Discipline Commission will now hear the cases in due course. In matters of this nature, our normal practice is not to identify individuals charged at this stage. The decision is taken on a case-by-case -case basis. It is, however, standard practice for the CDC disciplinary panel to publish its decisions and written reasons in full following the hearing. So nobody is being named at this stage, but we will find out who is involved, who has been charged after the hearings have taken place when we get the written reasons. 